Hey everyone, Matt Covert again here from HowToBecomeARaceCardDropper.com with another free video in the series. I'm super pumped to keep this thing going and I want to talk for a brief few moments about Polar Moment of Inertia. And we're getting into some uh, kind of physics stuff now, but I think it's really important to understand all these little concepts because when you do, all that knowledge adds up and it allows you to analyze and think about different things in the race car world which can ultimately benefit you so let's take a look at what this is um, polar moment let's just say a moment in physics is loosely defined as an object's tendency to rotate about itself okay so with that in mind let me show you what I'm talking about okay let's just say we have I'll make that a little straighter let's just say we have a board here and there's a pivot point of some kind in the middle. And let's say we have a couple weights that are way out on the end here. Let's say this is like an eight foot board or something like that. Well, <clears throat> the further away that weight is from a pivot point, the harder it is for these weights to change direction. So let's, let's say that you wanted to pivot this board back and forth like this. Well, it takes a lot more effort to change the direction of the weights if they're way all the way out here, okay? But let me go back a little. Now, let's move the weight further inside like this. Same weight on the same situation, but when you're trying to move them back and forth now, it becomes pretty easy because they're closer to the pivot point. That's the basic idea of the polar moment of inertia in a race car. And this is directly applicable to racing vehicles. So let's draw a couple tires here. This would be looking on from, let's say, the front end of a car, okay? On a typical vehicle, you've got all kinds of stuff going on right in this area next to the wheel. You've got the uh, brake assembly, and the hub assembly, whatever all that stuff looks like. You've got all the suspension components and all that kind of thing. So on really serious race cars, and I'm talking really serious race cars, like the, the what is it, the Factory 5, whatever their 33 Ford is, they were clever enough to do this. They moved all these suspension components further inward and so all that stuff is mounted, like the shock is mounted, shock and spring assembly is actually mounted up here and it's connected to the wheel through some kind of linkage. And it's like that on both sides. Well, this car has a better polar moment of inertia now because all that weight has been moved from out here inside toward the center, okay? And that allows the vehicle to change directions more quickly, just like this simple fulcrum system like this. And it's the same story. I know that a lot of Alfa Romeos, a lot of older ones, they moved their brake assemblies from here and they moved them further inward. So the brakes, rotors and such were actually mounted in the, in the middle toward the center of the, uh, of the drive axle. And they did that going the other way too. They were really clever. Let me just draw some four tires here. this and they would do that on on both axles so now you've got all this weight moved in toward the middle which is great it increases the handling it, it increases the car's ability to go from flat to when it's cornering and it changes from this to this much quicker simply because it has a better polar moment of inertia and I'm gonna end there and move on to something else I'll go make a, another video I'm totally on a roll so if these videos are helping you all helping you out at all and you like them I really like this setup with the chalkboard and the drawing on the screen it's really really kind of fun so if it's something that's helping you out uh, please go down and hit the subscription button I'll put one up on the screen you can go over to the channel and see what all the kind of videos are up there they're all free and I hope you enjoy and I'll be back soon with another video from howtobecomearacecardriver.com. Take care.